Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Sigvald here. Welcome back to the secondary account. First of all, boss Superman here. We're in the tier one bosses, which you you might be like, eh, it it's gonna be easy. No, because um, they have a lot of health, and I'm on the secondary account, so no pay to win artifacts. And well, Raven League of Art will stomp through this man. We're gonna have a little bit of a problem with the rest of them. By the way, I got my Dark Metal cards on this account at level 5, so we have a level 5, a level 3, and a level 1 Dark Metal cards for passive stats. Okay, special kill. This should take out, out half of his health or something like that. Not close to half. Almost half of his health. Special 2, there we go. Okay, easy one shots. Very straightforward, but this is the only fight that will be straightforward out of this video. Okay, so let's actually make this as a bit of a guide on how to handle fights that have close to 2 billion health on a free to play account. First up, use your League of Arcade Raven. That's gonna be a guaranteed one shot. If you can do 2 billion without using Raven in it, that's even better. But now we're going to use all our percentage hold to damage characters because we're not going to one shot anything else. And using percentage hold damage against full health targets is going to be the optimal way to do it. Uh, I don't have this or Batman collapse on this account, so you might be better off in this regard than I am. I'm going to have to do without Deathstroke. I've been trying to get Deathstroke on the secondary account for ages, but he's amazing if you have him. You play him basically the same way as I'll play King here with Nora Snow Globe equipped. Also, I don't have any passive stats on this thing, because if I have more passive health than I already do, King will just never die. Okay, I want to get killed with super move, ideally. Oh boy, look at this. I should have also removed some of the gears and some of the defense. I just hated that uh, tier 1 bosses have no, absolutely no damage. Like, give them a bit more. Like, nothing too crazy, but a bit more. This is just absurd. Okay, we got the first clone in there, finally. Took a decent amount of time. I need to remember I still have um, a third special on base king. Oh, that was a lot of damage on the clone, actually. I'll rip that clone. That's only because he backed off. Oh no, the dot damage is gonna make it so that I can no longer combo in trouble with the clone. Yeah, we're sitting on 0 HP. So we're going to try the back off strat. Back off two times. Oh, you should end it with a swipe down, though. I forgot to do the swipe down. He's in jump attack. Nah. It's fine. It's fine. It happens. Whenever the enemy is in a jump attack, you can take the gamble. Because on one hand, it's going to be a relatively safe moment to use a special. If you can time it when he lands. But if he transitions into a block at the wrong moment... Everything is going to backfire, he's going to block that special and you're going to lose a lot of damage and get your clone killed. It was a bit unlucky with this man. King took ages to die, the clones were dying off like flies. Quite annoying. But yeah, I did a fair bit of damage here and I think I can clear this easily enough.
The damage I do from this point on doesn't matter that much, but at the same time it does because every single bit matters. And 2 mil on that super move, and that's gonna be it for this fight. Could have gone better, definitely could have gone better. 1.4 is kind of the benchmark you should be expecting out of King and Deathstroke when you're using Nora Snowglobe. That's kind of where you know you've hit peak performance. So if you're watching this video like later than it has been posted, like a lot later, like months later, this might not have be viable. But currently Zatanna is bugged and if you put her in the first team position, she gives her percentage hull damage to the entire team if the enemy is burning. But yet again, I don't have Deathstroke on the secondary count and if you have that, it basically does the same thing as this team. Though not exactly the same, but the results in terms of damage are the same. Now I'm using the multiverse team because we got the cheap burn in there and we can also power generate. Come on, use a special. Please don't tell me you're gonna save up for super move. Yep, there we go. We entrap her with multiverse armor supergirl and we get a lot of power out of that. I have Puppet of Zatanna on Zatanna and we have Dark Mel cards on the R2 characters. It's gonna use the cheapest specials I can do. The fact that her specials are locked is kinda not good. Nah, she's saving up for super move. I wanted to interrupt the special and get some power generation that way, but she was saving up for super move, so there's no point in it. Okay, thank the super move. I first wanna get the percentage hull damage done with those guys because the Tana's got Puppet of the Tana which is infinite power, and once we are able to get that going, it's going to be very fast at burning through her percentage hull damage, so those guys need to kind of do it first, because they are slower at it. Okay. Now we do not struggle anymore with power generation anyway. My bad there, I, I, think, I think I did not block for long enough. Okay, flash is done. Multiverse armor super good. Get trash in there. Not ideal here. I messed up a bit. Let's tag in for a bit more power generation, but we we, we get screwed again. Oh, a third special. I don't think I've ever seen a multiverse armor, uh, a star power boss use a third special so far. But yeah, now Zatanna should get her stuff done, but we're, we're getting a bit unlucky here. Come on. Oh, she backed off. Oh, she still got hit by that. That's, that's amazing. And I got infinite power. Let's go. And she's done. She also finished her percentage hull damage, so this is kind of big performance, though it's weird because in other fights I got better results out of this without even using all the percentage hulls. Definitely a bit weird, but it went well. We did a good amount of damage here. I have three teams left and I'm out of my... Not really out, because I still have Batman Drought and Batman Ninja Team, but we're not gonna do this much damage. So now I'm going to focus all my teams and take out one of the bosses that we have damaged all the way up to this point and then tomorrow use the same teams in a different order to take out the other boss and then move on with the one shot team and percentage whole teams to the next bosses here i have batman the drowned and she's going to have the crown of conduct that's the best artifact for her in terms of damage it's not the most convenient but it's best in terms of damage i have this man here with dark metal cards and her with a uh, level three dark metal cards uh, now you're going to get decent results out of uh, Classic Wonder Woman, though Arkham Knight Batman seems to be doing a bit better for her. And with Classic Wonder Woman you kind of restrict yourself to Crown or God Killer, because if you use Classic Wonder Woman in Dark Metal cards, it's kind of pointless, because you already got maxed up crit damage. And here I'm going to tag in and out at the start a bit. 
because I want to power drain for my crown stacks. I want to get that super moved out of the way as fast as possible. Okay, it's currently at 3.8 with zero crown stacks and no super move. Let's see how high we can get this value. It's okay, super move. I don't care about tanking, super move will be fine. There we go. And I'll get the crown fully stacked. Though this is a bit of a mistake what I did here. Because uh, you are missing some stacks for crown, right? And you need to use specials in order to do it. But right now we need to build combo to activate the passive again. So do it while the passive is active. Because that's a down downtime that you're not using to deal damage anyway. Ideally we want to also to get him in the corner. My bad. A power stole from him. Also activated darkness. I double clicked it by mistake. You do not want to... Not darkness. Activate it, it using crisis energy. You do not want to activate it using crisis energy. Because that's going to shorten your passive to absolutely no benefits. Alright, full stacks now. And it's going to be 12 mil damage per second. I'm going to cycle this many as well. Because again, while it's active, we don't really get anything out of having Batwoman drowned as an active character. And this man drops the Dark Mole card area, which is going to give her some uh, guaranteed crits at the end, at least. And I did a few mistakes in this fight. This could have gone better. Okay, we might actually kill him. Oh boy, I was not expecting this. We killed him. We killed him, actually. 700? Oh, look at that, boys. Look at that damage from Batman the Drowned. Let's go. Yet again, you can get 2 billion with her easily enough. I mean, not easily enough. You need a lot of passive stats. But for my secondary count and her being only 4 stars and having... Like a level 4 crown, level 5 dark metal cards, and level 3 dark metal cards. This is quite an accomplishment for me, not gonna lie. This this went extremely well. Keep in mind, until right now, the lowest damage you have seen was like 700 mil done by Batman John. But from here, the things go a bit on the downside. I kind of fifth the best team on this account is going to be uh, the Batman Jack Hetman team. And we're gonna have dark metal cards on Batman Jack Hetman, and that, that's about it. The usual Dark Metal cards with Ninja Catman gameplay. And yes, it's more convenient with Puppet, but it's far less damage. After some point, look, if you have no passive stats and you drop a Puppet in there, you're gonna get far better values. But from a certain point, I would say from like a level 3 Soul Raid specific artifact that gives you some attack, Dark Metal card is gonna do better. But until that point, all the way pop it. Pop it is going to do amazingly well with no passive stats on your Batman Jacketman from the Solid Artifacts. But as soon as you get some, Dark Metal Cards outskills it by a mile. Also, the guaranteed crits are nice. Now we're gonna get another corner reset. Oh! My bad. I thought she would have enough for a super move. I thought she would charge it in time, but I forgot I was slowing her power with my third special. Her power generation. So definitely my bad on this one. I did not press that jump attack. That was a miss input. Maybe a bit rushed third special because that doesn't push her all the way to the corner. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, we're good. Got her in the corner.
Okay, like what I'm seeing, those are big damage values. Okay, 4.2 mil on the last value of that third special. I don't think I'm gonna reset the special 2 anymore, it's close to the end of the fight and I don't think it's worth it. And that's gonna be as far as my Batman Ninja team goes. Which is not bad, it's not bad. Almost 300 mil damage, definitely not bad, but it falls down a lot compared to the previous team. And for my last team, I'm going to use the Just League team. This is like a filler team. I, I could have used Sir Banshee team instead of this. I could have used the Collector team instead of this. The result would have always been a bit above 100 mil health. And uh, yeah, that's sadly as far as my secondary count goes. I don't yet have something that I would consider a strong six teams. I have a lot of contenders for that six spot, but none of them are really good. But yeah, back to the Justic team. I'm going to use Justic Flash here with Crown. I actually like Crown on him far more than I like Dark Melkors. Because Crown can uh, get him a refund on that first special. And he's very, very fast at stacking up that required combo for three specials. I haven't run deep tests to see if Crown does better than Dark Malkars, because considering the damage that I'm doing, it's not really worth it. It's gonna be low damage regardless, but uh, I, I do like the Crown gameplay a lot more on him. Oh no, she was so close to super move. And we got hit there. And about refounds. And our third special. I did that on no combo because I just want to get the stacks a bit faster for now. Okay, we managed to somehow re-engage the combo. This man has short hands. It's very hard for him to gap close with the enemy. He's definitely compensating for something by being the fastest. Bro, 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 bro. This, this, this fight went the worst out of all the fights. I hate Starfire so much. And this is a very good representation of how annoying this boss can be. By the way, if you're in the special animation, when the bubble hits, you're going to be fine. Special 2 again, got her to the corner. And I don't use the stun more often because for some reason it's the only stun in the game that's not the 100% chance. I mean, the only one that I know of, there might be some stuns on some random characters that they don't play and nobody plays, but who cares about that? Okay, we got her. Let's try to keep her here. No more refund! Come on, come on! This was the main selling point of the crown. Why are you disappointing me, Flash? Bro, where's my power refounds? And I even messed up. I think I'm mad. Nah, this was a failure though. Again, it's the fill-up team. This this could have been any team. Could have been Server Bench, could have been Collector. Didn't really matter that much. Finally power refounds. And another one. And yeah, we did a total of 100 mil. Yeah, kind of, kind of on the target that I set for myself with that 100 mil there. And it's a decent amount because now we can tomorrow use this team or another team that got, does a bit above 100 mil and then use the Batman Ninja team and we, we clear this. And we still have Batman the Drown, the Percentage Halt and the Raven League of Arc team. But yeah, those are my six best free-to-play teams on the secondary account and you can get much better than this as free-to-play i haven't really been grinding this account at all in a long time i only get the free gems 
the open chats. But thanks so much for watching. Like though if you liked it, dislike if you liked it. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.